think I might have been a minute early. Oh no, smack on. <gasps> Hello, good afternoon. Come on, Facebook, let's be friends. Yes. Hi, everybody. Oh, there's a couple of you watching already. Hello, Anne. Hello, Julie. I'll wait for a couple more of you to tune in before we smash into a page using a project that I'm going to create using shimmers from the shimmer paint from Dilusions. I hope you are all having a wonderful day wherever you are. It is lovely here in Radelaide today. Um, very, very nice. Not that I'm actually seeing very much of it because I'm hanging out here with you guys. But in saying that, it's still absolutely lovely out there by the looks. So this afternoon, as part of our Black Friday big brand sale and as part of the Craft Alive event that is happening this weekend, we have got a huge amount of things on special and on top of that, we are giving you... Oh, dear. We are giving you... Some fantastic, oh, I just lost my screen. Some fantastic specials um, on nataliemay.com.au and they are right here. 25% off of Natalie May products. So that is, that's some of the collage papers, that is some of, or oh, some of the collage papers, Stencil, stamps, storage, all sorts of bits and, people, bits and pieces, anything that's branded Natalie May scrapbooking. And then we also have Dilutions products at 20% off for today only, as well as Paper Rose and as well as Uniquely Creative. So we are, we've got some fantastic things happening. I thought I would create a black art journal page create on a black art journal page in my Dilutions journal this afternoon. And I, my plan is to use the Dilutions shimmer paints. And I just realized I want to grab a paint palette. Wait a sec. Sorry, I want to tear off palette because I'm going to do a big, big, big double page and I'm going to make a bit of a mess. And I'm going to do a quick and simple page. Uh, the Dilutions paints are fantastic. They have been around for many, many, many a year and they are a tried and true product. And I love that Dilutions have bought out shimmer paints. Uh, these, I know that I do this little storage thing because I store mine all like this. Uh, the shimmer paints, I make sure that I put an S on the top so I know that they are the shimmer ones and I don't pick up the wrong paints. So just a little helpful tip. Uh, and I'm going to put them in colour order here because what we're doing today is I'm going to do a bit of a swirly rainbow page using as many of these colours as I can. Now these paints have got a bit of a different makeup as well. So what that means is that some of them are a little thicker than others uh, and that's why I'm using the paint palette and I'm going to use um, use that to, to spread my paint out before I start, okay? Let's get into it. Now, at this point, I'm just deciding, am I going to do a pink rainbow or a green? All right, let's just go. So the shimmer paints are gorgeous. They do need a good shake before you start. Mine have been sitting for a while, so they might be a little bit gluggy, but that's okay. I'm going to put a few colours out onto my palette. And... There we go. And I put them out on here so that I can see the colours that I'm working with and move them around as I need to. So I've got two greens. 
So sorry, that one was fresh lime. Uh, I might pop a little cut grass on as well because I do like cut grass. And that one was polished jade. This is Calypso Teal. And London Blue. So every few months, uh, Dilusions bring out some new colours. And they are usually in, well, they're all in the same colours that are available in the flats. And Dilusions have got, I think there's, like 30 something sets of all colors in the whole collection. I'm not really too sure what the exact number is. Oh, that purple's lovely. Um, a little pink. So this is one of the Montmartre Tear Off Paint palettes. These are very, very handy. Uh, especially if you are creating on the go and you have got a few things happening. Uh, I I use mine a lot. They are really, really handy. So these are the colours that I am using. Um, I'm actually just going to keep this just off screen because I don't have enough room here and this is going to be a double page. So the journal that I'm using is a Dilusions journal and this is the... Classics journal and the classics journal has got black pages. It has got craft pages and it has got ivory pages I've had a few people say to me Natalie. I need you to create on Some black pages, please. So I am going to do that now. I'm just going to crack into it I have have got here one of the art by Marlene paint brushes. This is the angled brush and I am using the middle size brush. So this one comes in a set of three. There's a number 12 brush, a number 10, sorry, a number 12, a number 18, and a number 20. I'm going to go with this one. I also have handy here some water and some paper towel. And I'm going to crack into it and stop talking. I'm going to start with the green and I love the way that the, these shimmer paints sit on top of black so all I'm gonna do is keep it super simple and just do a little bit of this sort of spiral blendy page now I am just going to confidently pop my paint on going from working in a bit of a rainbow colour wheel. And as you can see, I'm just taking the excess off onto my paper towel here. I'm gonna go back now and add some more of that green over the top and some more of that lovely light green in the middle. Super loose and that shimmer is so pretty. Gonna go into the blue so I think this one was, what did I say that one was called? Calypso Teal. So you can certainly see that shimmer sitting. Right, now I'm just going to overlap it onto that green. Now I decided not to gesso my page first. Uh, and just show you exactly how it looked on black. And I haven't done this technique on with, with metallic or with shimmer colours before, but I was fairly confident that it was going to work just fine over black because the shimmer sits on top really nicely. Now this colour is the London Blue. London Blue. And again, just whipping it around. Now, this is a technique that I have done a million times, this colour wheel sort of going, moving my colours around the page from in the, in the order of the colour wheel. Um, and I love it. Tried and tested. I think I've done a very similar page 
a couple of years ago in my little junk journal. Right, so now I'm going to go back with that Calypso Teal and just layer that colour. Blur that edge. Welcome to everybody just tuning in. We're having a little bit of a creative arty session this afternoon using the Dilusions Shimmer Paints in my art journal on a black page. Hello, Chrissy. Welcome, my friend. Okay, so the next colour that I need to put out is going to be a purple but I'm going to clean a bit of colour off my brush first so that I don't make a new revolting colour. Uh, before I do that though, I'm going to squeeze all the water out of my brush so that it's not watered down at all. Chrissy's just saying that her arty motivation has been on hold a bit lately. That's a shame, darling. The best way to kickstart your motivation when you're not too sure what to do, in my opinion, is to have a look around and take a page like I'm doing now and turn it into your own scrap lift, we call it, uh, in the bizzo, in the business. So we want you to, you know, this is the whole idea of me doing these projects is to show you and give you ideas um, I'm not reinventing the wheel, like I said. This is not a new, new technique by any means, but this is something that I just need to show you how easy it is and put it under your nose again about how simple it can be. So put that purple on. Now I'm going to go back with that blue and just lightly brush that blue to blur the line in between. And I'm not putting a lot of pressure into my brush. I am just, what am I doing? Blue. Uh, I'm just kind of touching the paper to help that, help that blend and blur that, okay? And I will bring it up to camera in a minute to show you how it looks. Uh, the next colour is going to be fuchsia. Woohoo! That's a bit nice. And I'm working out of the page. This just spreads like butter. It is so nice. And it's so smooth to use. So shimmer paints are gorgeous, but they can be, I have found personally, if I'm mixing them or putting them with other like flat acrylic paints, so for example, the rest of the Dilusions paints, I personally have found that the, the shimmers are a little bit overwhelming. They can, they can be a bit dominant. Uh, so I tend to either use all the shimmers at the same time or all the flats at the same time. I personally find that um, I don't mix them, but that's personal preference, each to their own. So now I'm going to blur the line with that purple. Layering it over the top just to, to give it a little blend. And my lovely ladies are in here popping in the links into the comments. So just a little bit of a tip with the website. Our sale is on until the end of today. So the Dilusions paints are going to be on special until the end of today. Uh, and you can add those to your cart. Now the easiest way to find them is if you just go up to your search bar and type in Dilusions Shimmer. And the Shimmer paints will come up. It's that simple. Now this is Bubblegum. Bubblegum Shimmer, and I love this. This is definitely more of a pink than the Fuchsia. And is absolutely divine. And 
and I haven't put enough out on my palette. So they all do need a good shake before you use them. So if your paints have been sitting for a couple of weeks, um, they react differently to different climates, of course. So if you are in a colder area, such as perhaps Hobart or even Canberra, you will need to give them a really, really good shake. Um, it's not advised to mix them with water to thicken them up or, sorry, to, to loosen the consistency if you find that they are thick because that will just change the colour of the paint. You just need to keep on shaking it. Um, that works very, very well. But the paints are beautiful. Beautiful. Right, I'm going to pop a bit more of that fuchsia and blend that in now so that we've got a nice blend between the bubblegum and the fuchsia. And it is looking a little fluoro. I'm just reading some comments as I go. And now I'm gonna go into, this one is cherry pie. Now cherry pie was, I believe, in the most recent release. And this one is more of a red. Now I haven't got the red one open here. Um, so after cherry pie, I'm going to go straight into an orange. Like that. Nice big long strokes, nice big confident long strokes. So this little technique that we are doing will work beautifully on an art journal page and you could do it on white cardstock. You could do it on a scrapbook layout. You could do it on a card front. It's just a case of using a, a smaller brush and thinking about the area that you're working on. Um, can you cut it down if you do it on a 12 by 12 and make a, a beautiful card out of it? Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be an art journal page. I like to make sure that my techniques that I show you today are things that you can transfer across to your chosen sport, your chosen hobby, okay? I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of that purple out, uh, sorry, that cherry, and go into some orange. And this is beautiful. This one here is called Tangerine Dream Shimmer. And I'm going to need a bit more, giving it a shake. here the black background actually gives it a bit of depth which is really nice too so uh, the last color I'm going to add on is pure sunshine which is quite light and my pure sunshine is super thick so I'm just gonna squeeze it out onto my palette Spread it out and get it on there. Oops, bit of bonus. Now the white linen is one of the newer colors and there's like a vanilla custard as well and those colors are absolutely absolutely stunning if you are after a little bit of shimmer on your project as well um, they are really 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 nice the lightest colors I haven't personally opened them but they are stunning and sold out, and sold out Louise tells me 
the white linen is available? The white linen is still available? No. No. But we shall be getting Plus some back in. All right. So I am pretty happy with that. Now I'm going to lift that up and see if you can see that shimmer. And then I'm just going to pop a little... I'm going to clean my brush off. pop some black over this last over this corner down here because I want to have a black corner but I still want it to have that shimmer happy 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 right brush in water let's bring it up to camera and have a little look I love that I know, I'm trying to get the light to catch it and I'm pretty sure, whoops, you can see how good it looks. Now, cool thing is, it's almost dry because we have used that lovely dry brushing technique. So, it is perfect. Black page, shimmer paints. Let's add some bits and pieces. Now, I'm just going to get my paint palette. So, here's my paints. I'm just going to get that out of the way so that I don't inadvertently put my elbow in it, which is more than likely going to happen. What I have done is uh, between live Facebooks is I have stamped some All and Create butterflies. So I have used this one. Number 826 and number 799. And they are a, they're fantastic stamps. It's really, really good. Um, and they stamp like a dream. And I have cut out some butterflies. And my thoughts were, and I've just cut them out in black archival ink, is my thoughts was I was going to pop a few butterflies around my page keeping it really, really simple, adding some stamping in and around where the butterflies might go. Okay, so this is where I'm heading with this page. I've just stamped them onto some black, uh, sorry, some white cardstock, and I'm just gonna grab a paint pen. got a black life of color paint pen and I'm just going to touch up the edges in a moment um, actually I'll do that now let's do that now while that's sitting and coming drying out so all I do is stamp and then I take away that freshly cut look just by edging in my brush tip black pen from life of color I believe this one is possibly in the essentials Brush tip is probably in the essentials, uh, but I do find that I use this guy a lot. I should have a chat to them about just releasing them as a single, not as a single, or a whole pack of, because I could just use this brush pen on everything. but it takes away that freshly cut look. I did think about colouring my butterflies, but I actually quite like the way that they look just being black and white on this background. So I think a few of you may have um, butterfly stamps. Paper Rose, we have a Paper Rose special on today at 20% off. They have some lovely butterfly stamps. Um, or you can still get, I do believe you can still get these unique, uh, these All and Create butterfly stamps um, online. They are available at the moment. But it certainly makes all the difference to take away that freshly cut edge. Whoops. That one now has a 
black spot and a black line. A little creative license on that guy. If I did it at a normal sort of speed and not in a hurry, then that wouldn't have happened, but that's okay. Again, it's called creative license. And whoops, I've done the same thing there. Oh God, Natalie, sort it out. And put the black pen down. Hello, Naomi. All right, I wanna add some stamping in and around where my butterflies are going to go to give it a little bit more depth. So the trick here is first of all, I wanna work out where I'm going to put my butterflies, okay? I think that's probably important. Looking at the size of my butterflies and the positioning, I want this little guy in the middle. I've got two of this one, so I need to make sure that they're not close together. This little guy can go down here. This little guy can go in here. So they kind of sit on the on the rims of the the colours where they meet. Put that one there. He can go out. No, two big ones together. Might go there. Might be there. Okay, I've pulled out a few All and Create stamps. Um, sorry, I just need to have a quick drink. So the numbers that I have used, again, um, I'll get the girls to put the links to the exact butterflies in the comments. Um, number 826 and number 799 okay so they are the two butterflies that i have used uh and i think that they are certainly ones that you can add to your collection so what i like to do is i love these big ones here and i always look at different ways of using these stamps um, now these have got some great little words in here. So these, these are what I'm wanting to use today. So I'm going to take this one here and this has got on it, the best things in life are free. So I want to use that. And I'm going to use that one first. Where's my little, there we go. Popping it on my acrylic block. And I have a <laughs> hello Denise. Uh, I have got my black archival ink, which I have just inked. Now stamping with on top of shimmers, you do have to give it a little bit extra. So I'm gonna stamp it, stamp it, and I'm gonna do a little bit of a shadow stamp in and around so that it is stamped more than one time in and around that butterfly. So he's gonna sit there like that. And I'll bring it up to camera as well in a minute so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, so I've got that little guy there. That one is from one of the stamp sets that I've got. So when you purchase a stamp set, no matter what brand, my advice to you is if you can use 80% of it, then I call that good value for money. So I don't necessarily, I'm not, not too worried about what these ones say, but I'm definitely after this gorgeous little typewriter script. So this one says scatter, oops, scatter seeds of kindness. So I'm going to pop that up here with this one.
and I'm using these words as as a passion, as a background passion. And I'm not worried that you can't read it all. That's not the main. How many have I got here? I'm going to do a few more of that one. Pop that one over here as well. him down there and I might grab that other one back again this one says timeless As well. See you, See you later, alligator. Have a good night. Okay, and I'm going to find some other words that I have in here as well and just start building them up. Timeless. And what's this one say here? Embrace the simple pleasures. Oh. Oh, that's very crooked. well the real hero of this page is definitely the paint so I don't want to overpower it with anything else keeping these embellishments simple keeping the stamping super simple um, is, is really, really important. You don't want to take the focus away from the hero, which is, in this case, our, our paint. And this one just says fresh. Okay, I'm going to glue those down. I'm just going to commit to it and glue it down. Glue those babies down. Oh, hang on a minute. What have I got here? No. Glue. So for today's purposes, I'm going to be using the Art by Marlene sticky glue. And just going to keep it super simple. And stick those on so I'm um, after a glue that is going to dry clear because if it gets a bit gooby you know oh what's going on here oh I forgot one but it needs to really stick down as well how did I forget one I might put him up here him in the middle. Da, da, da. Well, this has been an awesome weekend. I have had so much fun creating for you guys. I don't feel like I've done any work. I feel like Louise has done all the work, bless her. Um... And she's now knocked off for the day because it's Sunday. 
Uh, so yeah, it's um, it's never called work. It's never called work when you're having fun and you're enjoying. Leave the little one off. Yeah, I was going to do that actually, Elizabeth. Great minds think a lot like Bay. It does not need it. I never counted how many I had. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, we're good with that. So let's keep this super basic, super simple. And I'm going to add a title. Now, quite often I could stamp a title, I could word, like handwrite a title. But I thought I would use, I might use one of the thickers. Maybe. Oh, look at these. These are the same colour. Where's my knife? Here. I could put some little embellishments on that are similar colours. But you know what? Let's not use thickers. I mean, I do like the good stuff but it doesn't really apply to my page here. I might use that on my next page this afternoon. Um, what can I put here? What could I put here? Someone give me a word. What have we got? What's my title while I am adding? Maybe I will do a white pen. Let's see if a white pen is going to show up in order. Yes. White pen border is something that I would not normally do, but let's give it a go. So we are working with a white life of color medium paint pen over our shimmer page on a Dilusions black background. Fly free, fly free, fly free. That could work. Okay, I feel like I need to, oh no, Natalie, resist the urge. I will be, once that is dry, I'll add a black pen mark as well. Uh, let's come up with a quick little, anyone else got any other phrases for me? Come on, surely someone's got something. I like fly free, but I am going to use embrace the simple pleasures. I do like that. Embrace, see I've already used that there and I have used it here. So if I write it here in black or white, oh, see now I'm overthinking it guys. Damn. Right, just commit to it, Natalie. I'll go for white. So this is the uh, the thin Life of Colour paint pen that I used yesterday. So I, I used it yesterday and I'm just going to test it in the back here to make sure that it's nice and clean and it's easy to use and it looks great. So we're gonna go with embrace the simple pleasures. Now, I can't talk and do this at the same time, apparently. And I'm just going to, oh, actually, that's worked really well. Pop that on there. And I'll bring it up to camera in a minute. Just a tip when you are doing your handwriting. If you are wanting to 
jump in and put your handwriting on a page. Um, my suggestion is know what you're going to write, number one, and take your time. It does take practice and it does take, again, confidence. Um, I have taught handwriting classes in the past, but I haven't found them to be very successful because people still think that their handwriting at the end of it is going to look like mine, where in actual fact it still looks like yours, but you just have to learn the confidence. So I tend to not worry about doing that anymore because you just can't teach confidence. It's just a case of just get it on there and get it done. Radio, I'm going to, I'm just going to call that done because I really, really love it. So I'm going to bring it up to camera and show you some of the details, especially around the, actually, I'm going to take my camera off the stand. That might be better. So you can get all of these lovely angles. So if you get seasick, look away now. Oh, hang on. Come on. There we go. And I can zoom up this way. There we go. So each of those butterflies is sitting on a word. You can now see that shimmer sitting on top of that black page. Admittedly, my butterflies are not stamped to perfection. And again, I'm okay with that because this is my art journal and I'm creating it for me. Okay, I do love that you can still see some of these little black bits coming through from the art journal page. Um, where's the other one? There we go, down here. So we've got this little guy down in the corner. Okay, there is my handwritten title. I don't even mind that I've got some brush strokes going on here. And that one there. But you can certainly see the shimmer on this page. It's so pretty. If I go back that way towards the light, it changes as we go. Do you want to see my messy work desk? If I zoom out, I just have a trestle. I have a dump tub. There's that paint balancing precariously on the corner. Okay, so I do create with just the things that I need in front of me, okay? And swinging around. So I try not to overwhelm myself with everything. So then that way, and there, and there we are. And my ring light. So creating with what you've, you know, limiting yourself to what you have in front of you and then creating confidently is absolutely everything. Okay, but I do love that it changes with the light. Like, look at that. That's beautiful. So there you go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that this afternoon. Um, that is why, oh, 45 minutes exactly. Well done, Natalie. I'm going to photograph this and um, I will add a photo to the Facebook page where you can see the finished project. And I look forward to seeing you back here at 3.30 and I'm going to create another little art journal page for you. Happy Sunday. See you soon.